So Dustin, thanks again for uh, agreeing to do this interview. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Again, yeah, take again, two. Take take two. two. Exactly. I know, the magic of cinema. <laughs> exactly. So one of the things I wanted to ask you, and I think it's really paramount to what you seem to be about from a social standpoint, mm -hmm. is your involvement in so many different social movements, mm -hmm. in particular your involvement with the uh, LGBT community sure. and rights, human rights, mm -hmm. uh, individual rights and things of that nature. Where do you get that passion? Where where does that passion come from? Well, why why do I want to um, do civil rights work? Why not just cash in and make the money off of it? Uh, well, I mean, I think my sense of otherness, my sense of being different than I am, uh, coming to my craft as the other, as the outsider, for me it meant uh, not just being gay growing up, but also being gay in Texas, being military, being Mormon. These are all things that made me quite different. And, um, and, and as much as they've helped me uh, to have a sort of more empathetic uh, sense of other people so I can write other people, write characters, and do all that kind of stuff, um, it, it, I also know the pain that, that I felt when I was a young person in Texas, uh, he, even here in Salinas, um, as a young gay person, and, and feeling isolated and feeling alone and uh, being told that I was less than uh, by my church, uh, by people in my community, hearing derogatory words used to describe me, and I know the damage that does. I know how it robs of self-esteem. I know uh, that it can get even worse, uh, and young people will be bullied for who they are and may even consider taking their own life. And I think that, that in, a, in a country that prides itself on being diverse, um, I, I think it's heinous that we have people uh, losing their sense of self, being robbed of their self-esteem, and even driven to suicide because they're different. That's not America. It's not the America I'm proud of. So, uh, you know, how as an outsider who's understood that experience and gone through that experience and, and honestly has profited off of being the outsider uh, by, by turning my outsiderness into craft, how can I stand by and not protect the people who are out there living where I lived growing up, uh, feeling different, feeling isolated? And um, so that's what I'm doing. I, I work really hard to make sure signals are being sent to young people across this country that being different is good, being different is American, um, and, and I not only want them to hear my voice, I want them to hear the government's voice, I want them to hear the voice of, uh, and not just their state governments, but the federal government eventually saying, your lives, your love, and your future families are valuable, they will be respected and protected by your country.